And the race to moon is heating up as well. The moon, Earth's only natural satellite, has always held mysteries and inspired exploration. It was the United States which landed first on the moon, but that bragging right could be in danger now. Watch this next report to know how the Chinese are pushing ahead in the race to the moon. Take a look. Remember the moon race of the Cold War? It's back. This time, the competition is between the US and China. Space, the final frontier, for now. Mankind has been exploring space for over a century. While the Americans are aiming to go back to the moon, the Chinese could well beat them in the race. China is sending a robotic spacecraft in the coming days on a round trip to the moon's far side. This is the first of three technically demanding missions that will pave the way for an inaugural Chinese crewed landing and a base on the lunar south pole. It's the same area where ISRO's Chandrayaan-3 landed, making India the first nation to land on the lunar south pole. The Chinese mission follows a series of successful change missions that began in 2007. China's lunar program has rapidly narrowed the gap with the US. The China Manned Space Agency, or CMSA, is hailing the smooth progress on their mission to land Chinese astronauts who are called Taikonauts on the moon by 2030. The development of mechanical and thermal test products for manned spacecraft and lander has been basically completed. Various rocket engines are under ground tests and the Wengchang Manned Lunar Exploration Launch Site is under construction. The proposals for manned lunar rover and lunar surface payloads solicited from the public are under selection. NASA's Artemis III mission is set to return humans to Moon in 2026. NASA sees the Moon as a pit stop for mission to Mars. But the Chinese are pushing forward rapidly. The world's second largest economy has invested billions of dollars in its military-run space program. It would be interesting to see who wins this new race to the moon. Your report, Beyond World is One. For latest news, download the Beyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.